Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A dining review on Le Cellier, which is the, I think it's a signature dining in the Canada Pavilion, which is woot woot, our home country. So we definitely had to go eat at Le Cellier while we were there. Um, I just heard amazing things about it, so I wanted to check it out for myself. So if you have never seen one of my dining reviews before, I like to rate it on four categories, food, service, atmosphere, and overall... I, I never know how to explain my overall category. Anyways, um, those are my four categories. Each of the four categories I rate on a scale of one to five. Um, five obviously being the best, one being the worst. And then the overall, the restaurant can get a possible 20 out of 20 or whatever um, we rate it. So this way, while I am doing my dining review, you can really focus on the things that matter to you and how you want your dining experience to be while you're in Disney. Does that make sense? Every time I say that little spiel, I say it differently and no matter what, it always just sounds weird to me. But anyways, you'll understand as we get into it. So as I said, this is going to be a dining review on the lovely signature dining in Canada in the Canada Pavilion in Epcot. Um, this is, I mean, I'm biased, but one of my favorite pavilions in Epcot, it is just beautiful. I must say though, there is more to Canada than beautiful scenery and like parliament buildings, <laughs> but anyway. Anyways, first food. Food is my first category. Um, so while we were there, um, we were able to try um, one of the seasonal options that they offer there. So I had the, um, Capre, Capri, I don't know how to say those, those salads that are like the tomato and mozzarella and like balsamic vinaigrette. Um, that's what I had. It was delicious. That again, like I said, it's a seasonal item. I'm pretty sure it's like a summer seasonal item. So if you're there in the summer and they have it, definitely get it because it was so good. And then obviously Austin and I both got steaks um, and then I got creme brulee for Dessert. Oh, Austin also got the cheese, the cheddar cheese soup that everybody like loves there as his appetizer. And then I got a creme brulee, like I said, and then Austin got cheesecake for dessert. Overall, like <laughs> I'm not kidding you, my mouth is salivating thinking about this restaurant right now. Oh my gosh. Overall, the best steak that I had on property, it was insane and it's really weird to me because when i was looking up reviews before we went a lot of people had like not so great things to say about it and i thought it was like insane i had the filet austin had the new york strip um like i couldn't believe how good the steak was like and that was our second day i think so i'm like crap we've peaked on our second day <laughs> like this sucks but it was so good highly highly recommend um eating at le cellier solely based on food like it was incredible loved it i gave it a five out of five like it was delicious i loved it um the service i loved the service there um from the second we got in the door like everybody was super nice super kind um i'm sure that's saying something because we were at the canada pavilion but i mean you know no, I know. Um, that's just like obviously a silly joke that everybody in Canada is super nice, but everybody was super nice at the Canada Pavilion. They were very like accommodating and um, like super on top of things. Our waitress was awesome. Right when she came over, she was recommending things right off the bat. That's actually how I um, picked the seasonal item like because obviously it wasn't on the menu. She had to like recommend it, but she was like, really it's really good and then every time she came over she was just like that's really good right so it was awesome really liked her um yeah so for service i gave it a five out of five like i couldn't ask for better service um while we were there so that was awesome for atmosphere 
I liked it. It was very pretty. Um, when you're walking up to it, you like walk through the gardens and then you go in and it's like it's in, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm gonna sound so stupid. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like supposed to be like you're in like a cellar. Like it, that's like just the vibe of it. It looks like a wine cellar probably. Um, because when you go in, you're kind of underground. There's no windows. It's like very dark. A lot of people would describe it, I'm sure, as like very romantic or very just like, I don't know, calming, quiet, cozy. Um, I didn't love that. I like to look at things. I like to be obviously always seated by a window. I like to look at like what's around, but I get, like I get that that's the whole point of the, I don't know. I get that that's the point of the restaurant was that it's supposed to be like you're down in not a dungeon but like you're down in a cellar so it did touch base on atmosphere um but I just it wasn't my favorite so I gave it a four um because obviously it did do what it was supposed to but I just didn't love the atmosphere um and then overall like I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 I like I said I loved it it was a great dinner like it was so good um yeah um the like I, <laughs> I feel like this is like the shortest review I've done but just straight up like it was the best it was the best restaurant that we ate at um just based on food wise like it was the best steak that I had while we were there and like I'm not a huge steak person but like Wow, it was so good. Like tips and thoughts that I had about the restaurant, don't plan on doing much after you eat there because you will be stuffed, like stuffed, stuffed. Like it is heavy food. So after a full day in the parks of probably being out in the heat and the sun and eating that much, yeah, don't plan on doing a lot. Austin and I literally like walked out of there and we were like, okay, well, like what do we do? Because we had a really early reservation and we planned on like walking around the pavilions and like getting the food and wine festival but like I wasn't about to go eat a bunch more food after that um so like don't plan on doing much after your reservation like just plan on kind of wandering around just like shopping yeah doing light rides like maybe go on the land I don't know um and then also try and check in early there if you can um i think we checked in like maybe 20 minutes early but like not by much but you never know if you can check in like if you're just kind of waiting around like we were we just went in to see if we could check in a little early and they were able to see us so that was good overall would i eat here again yeah 100 percent. i loved it um yeah it was awesome um I'm nervous to eat there again just because I've had heard people say that it wasn't the best thing that they've ever had. So, I mean, it is what it is. Some people might get not great um, experiences with it. Some people might have awesome experiences like we had, um, but I obviously would love to eat there again. It is expensive, so that's, that's the only thing that would draw me away from it. It is two dining credits, um, but also I'm pretty sure it's like pretty pricey for what it is. Like I'm pretty sure it's like almost like $70 for a steak or something crazy like that. So um, if you have the money, eat there. If you are if you love steak, eat there. Um, but yeah, that is my review on the Um Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was probably like one of the shortest ones that I've done, but honestly like that, it just, there's not much else to say other than like it was delicious and I loved it. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.